brought him to me inside the pastor from uh, Joss. And he said, he said, uh, uh, man of God, now wow, after gathering this kind of crowd on Saturday morning, you pull nasty come on Sunday morning. I said, no, this is a fellowship. He said, eh? You say what? Fellowship. He said, ah, no, this is not a fellowship. <laughs> he said, this is not a fellowship at all. This, he said, this, this does not look like fellowship. Amen. I don't know why people normally think when you call fellowship, they think it's where they just clap and where they pray or where they prophesy or where they, where they do deliverance. It's, it's a vision. Amen. It's an assignment. So that's why we don't come here and we are behaving as if uh, our work is just to pray and pray for people and let them go. It's an assignment. And I keep saying and I repeat it. If you are consistent here for three months, and you do not see transformation in your life. It's not my problem. It's not God's problem. You are the cause. It means that either there were services you were missing or you were not fully obedient to God, obeying every instruction that was coming from this place. Praise the Lord. Because when your obedience is sound, me and God were not quarreling. We don't have misunderstanding things must flow into your life. If people can come here after one week, they are testifying massively. Then if you stay and you are not sure, you are not experiencing God walking wonders around you, something is wrong. Because we always run our services in series. Have you discovered that? It's always in series. There is no service that's isolated. They are linked together. So when you miss one, like those people that missed yesterday, did they miss something? Are you sure people that miss this service miss something? Very largely. Praise God. And uh, those that will be coming late to be in others, they're going to miss a lot. But the issue is that I don't even still see how we can finish this series today. That's the issue. I don't want to rush it. It's very serious. Amen. Yesterday after I got to the office, I was seeing that a lot of senior ministers were watching online and we were actually enjoying the service because we were, we were talking something that is affecting destiny it does not have age or size truth is truth somebody say truth is truth no matter where it's coming from even if a small child is telling you truth is truth amen so I was, I was very pleased to say that they were watching from different parts of the world um, but I have announced yesterday that by on Saturday, which is the first day of the month of December. I thought you were going to give God a clap. On Saturday is the first day of December. So, by Saturday I'm going to, like what I did when I just came back from Europe, I had a handling service on everybody. Are you following me? And that did a lot in people's life. Healing, deposit, we had in a people testifying. First of December, which is next Saturday, do not come to fellowship alone. Tell somebody don't come alone. Speak loud. Come on. I should be more tired than you. I've been ministry continuously for days now. And I've just finished one this morning. If I can. In fact, yesterday when I, after I finished my fellowship, I was in the office till about, it was there about two or three we left. No, about two something. It was about two something we left meet two people and talking, talking, talking. When I got home, I just hit the bed. My wife would shake me. I said, uh -huh. Because she didn't come in time. I was sleeping. And I started to sleep in her room. She said, see now. See. Eh? You have finished yourself there. You have carried this kind of body. Look at you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything she was saying, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. I was saying, he said, stop telling me sorry. This is your sorry. means shut up. You know, I <laughs> I don't know woman. I don't know if you want to tell woman was satisfiable. I say sorry, sorry. Since you're sorry, now shut up. It should be up. You will not hear I talk again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when I speak to you, speak and uh, want to cover. Yesterday we we went through about five. I stopped in number five, right? Sees thou a man, right? By talking on wisdom, wisdom for life wisdom for life 
That's what we started yesterday. We began a series yesterday on wisdom for life. And what was the first thing that we said? We said, first thing, come on, I, I like to, you know, the first thing we said was that Proverbs 24, 3 to 6 said that through wisdom a house is builded and by understanding it is what? Established. And by knowledge, and that, that, that was the first point, that through wisdom a house is built. And I told you yesterday, I don't want to start going through all that, that, that you don't build a house by prayers, you don't build a house by fasting, you don't build a house by shouting, and by, by the word house, it was, it's not just a building. Even though you don't also build a building by prayers. I told you, no matter the anointing I carry, if I come and I say, please, let's start building. Are you following me? And I start putting the blocks. Just okay, pour the oil on the floor and raise the blocks and raise the blocks. Pour the oil and cement it. Pour the oil and put the zinc. Pour in Jesus' name. I put fence and all that. That just one breeze that will blow, everything will come crumbling because there is the place for wisdom. You calculate, you think. The foundation for a bungalow is not the same foundation for a story building. The foundation for a story building is not the foundation for a twin duplex. Are you following me now? That these things they have to be brought into cognizance. You have to think, you have to plan, you have to reason, you have to order things. Praise the name of the Lord. And I also said that we're talking about house. The word house means edifice, an establishment, a building. And we're talking about building. And whatsoever you add ingredients to make up. Now listen, you do not you do not build soup. You do not make soup with prayers. You do not make soup with zeal. You do not make soup with, uh, you make soup with what? Wisdom. Now wisdom is that you must know. Now, hear me very well. We started by saying that the house is not just built by knowledge. It is built by what? Wisdom. Are you following me at all? Jessica, are you here? The house is not built by knowledge. It is built by wisdom. Knowledge is knowing the right ingredients. The right cement. The right uh, 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 kind of water, the right kind of sand. But wisdom is knowing when to put it and how to put it. I will say that wisdom is applying knowledge rightly, administering knowledge in the right way. That is wisdom. In other words, without knowledge, there cannot be wisdom. Are you following me at all? You can be knowledgeable and not be wise. You must know the technicalities of how to put it together. But knowledge, you don't pray for knowledge. You go in search. You buy knowledge. That's what the Bible says. Did you see that yesterday? It said buy knowledge, buy instruction. The Bible says, verse 4, And by knowledge that the chambers be filled with pleasant and precious riches. What also means that when you have knowledge and you know to apply knowledge, then you can be rich. The Bible says for you to, your chamber, meaning your house, your chamber, meaning your business, your chamber, meaning your ministry, your chamber, meaning even your health, needs knowledge for you to be filled with, filled with riches. And we say yesterday that when the Bible is saying that by wisdom you build a house, it, it goes to your business needs wisdom, your marriage needs wisdom, your ministry needs wisdom, your relationships needs wisdom, friendship needs wisdom. Where wisdom is not, now that there was something we said yesterday that watch me, if you want to build to last, then you have to build by wisdom. A graduate, I'm of age, I can I make money now. I think I have good shape. Why? Because I want to build for health. Are you still with me at all? Wisdom builds, wisdom builds, wisdom. Many there are there are I don't think there is any minister that has come to this fellowship from other ministries that are kept came to visit or to minister that has not said that has not said to me, man of God, this place is more than a fellowship. Many have actually said, man of God, even church, this place is more than a church. He said, come, people should put this on television. People don't know what's happening here.
because the absence of wisdom is foolishness no matter how knowledgeable you are once you don't know how to apply knowledge they rightly in the first place the Bible marriage we were going for counseling from gynecologist not one not two we registered in hospital we we're not married to sit down and ask doctor to our youtube my do me on youtube some of you don't even have it just go to your android phone go to youtube go to the search bar type my me subscribe you can watch messages of last three months do you know the message of yesterday? I rewatched it again and I learned things I did not learn. At times I go there and watch other messages. There are some programs outside that I didn't preach here. Go there and search. Instead of buying data, you are taking pictures, Sunday things. How do I look? You ask the people, how do you look? You Okay, tell her what I'll pay the one later. If you remain with those kind of people and they keep pressing you that way, you will not grow. Are you hearing me at all? So, what's the question? So, I you know, say, Pastor, I should not preach to this, guy. I should not say to them again. I didn't say so. What I said is this watch me. You can start with those kind of people, despite not the day of little beginning. Though your beginning was small, that's what the Bible says. Your later eyes are greatly increased. You can begin with those class of people, but make sure that your business does not remain for those class of people. Are you following me at all? Because many of those class of people, they don't take you up because people can only take you to where they have been to before. Somebody that has not been up cannot come and carry you from that. Somebody say where we are going. You see why will you spend 600000 for only one all night? Because of where we are going. Don't live for what you are. Live for where you are going. I will sit together. See as thou a man diligence. How do you know a diligent man? Watch me. When do you wake up? When do you wake up to... Now listen, apart from praying for your work, do you think about your work? Diligence is not just in prayers. See as thou a man diligent in his business. In his business. In his, not in their business. In his business. Like I normally tell the leaders and the workers there. Now, you, you that...
Even, even the Holy Ghost will not move. You like the presence of God you see in this place. You think it's only prayer. There are so many things that bring it to pass. There are many organizations that take place behind the scene. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. See us now, a man diligent. already written my project for next year. Personal project means impact. What the work you are doing is impacting people. Yes, I'm asking you a question. The hair you are making is impacting people. The dress you are showing is impacting. Do they wear it and complain? Hey, oh, see this guy tell up with this one. Or when they wear it, I say, oh my God. Upon pay you, they say, thank you. How, do you make dress that people want to pay you more than? At times, my baba, I dash him money. I pay more than. Because I've tried many other places, but when he cuts my hair, I, I just sit Read loud for me. Still no more. We don't have time. We don't have time. But rather, let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needed. Are you? Do you get that? One of like some of those guys will come. And one man came one day and was thinking, "Son, help me, son, help me." I know the kind of car I drive now. They say, "Ah, this guy, if you want bring money, go bring a big." Oh God, help me! Help me now! Help me! I, I was so pissed, I pissed, I pissed, I pissed, and he was saying, "The family, the family needs food." Money, let me give you better. I bet this beginning of our jobs is money. May God bless you. You don't know, give you better. We don't get money, I like bumpy kid. On that song, you put this picking, God will forgive you. Madam, as you be so, if you wash clothes, if you wash people clothes, if you do wash a woman, if you even go about like yourself, the money, you say, yeah, put your here. <laughs> Praise God. They were sitting and walking that day. See, they're walking. But that is not a good walk. Prostitutes, not be walk. In, in Australia, some countries, prost oh, you see Australia, prostitutes, they pay, they pay tax. They pay tax. In some of these Europe countries, prostitution, they now pay tax. Which means the government gives them accommodation. A doctor comes to check them regularly. They pay tax and they make heavy money. Heavy money. Some Nigerian women, they have worked, they refuse to work, now want to petition. Why? Because while you work there, the government pays you like 2,000 2, euro. Your prostitution can give you 1,000 in a week. 1,500 in a week, depending on how sharp you are and how, how shape you are. Are you following me at all? Somebody say, work with your hands, the right things. Verse 29 says, let no, oh my God, hear this very well. Verse 29, let, everybody let's read together, come on. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Hey, but that which is good, how? To the use of the divine. Why? That it may minister grace unto the hearers. Another word of wisdom. Last week I was speaking about demonic heroes. Last Sunday, and I talked about the power of words. Are you following me? Are you following me at all? Now, look what the Bible says. It says let no corrupt communication. Mind what comes out from your mouth. Let no corrupt. What is the word corrupt? Unclean words 
should not come out from your mouth, but that which is good. In other words, your mouth should never say things that are not good. But how do you know good things? They are things that are good, that are useful to edify. What is edifying? When you talk, let people's life be encouraged. When you talk, let people see good things. When you talk, let people want to live. When you talk, let people feel lifted. Bible says, so any talk that does not raise people up is a corrupt talk. There are some people when I sit down with, I tell myself, I will never invest my 10 minutes with you again. Why? Because everything they said was rubbish. Do you know what it means to gossip? Gossip. Gossip is corruption. <laughs> gossip is corruption. How? You, you, uh, I came to visit you, uh, or, or, or Jessica came to visit me, and then she said, uh, uh, Evangelist, there is this sister in the fellowship. Her name is Sister Joanne. No. Sister Joanne uh, did, uh, told me one thing. Sister Joanne told me like this. Or to, uh, Sister Joanne behaved like this. And, uh, and then everything she told me were all bad. There was nothing good. And I said, Okay, I'm going to see her. No! Okay, I told you. If I don't even tell, I say, leave it, leave it, leave it. I just want you to know you are a devil. You just want me to know what you told me. Tell me what is useful inside for my life. Nothing. As you told me, it did not edify me. It did not raise me up. It did not encourage me. Rather, it has made me angry. Or made me to start to see Joan in another phase. I thought Joah was a sound believer. I never knew Joah can do. Hey, Joah! Hey, Joah! Hey, Joah! Now what? Now what? They pray well, well. Hey, Jesus! Oh, how you want me to be like this? I mean, not tell him. Let me tell you. Not tell him. Once you don't want me to meet her, don't tell me about her. You that heard it, your head is full with corruption. Why should you listen to? somebody about the wrong of another person when you are not set to correct it or to put it in place then you are a custodian of corruption i can only hear a report that is bad about somebody because i will work on it if i can't work on it don't tell me you are spoiling my spirit and then he say hey Mumu. Now, Mumu, say as you might be the be corrupt communication. He said, to, he said, watch any word that somebody will hear that you said, that it would, it would not seem a fool, a big fool will be. If I tell somebody that is a big fool, will it make the person feel better? Corrupt. That, that girl, a thief, will it make her feel better? Answer me now. Corrupt. Ha! Huh. Sophia lazy human being. I never saw lazy like that for this life before. Will it make her feel better? Corrupt communication. You say, but say that which is good to the use of a divine. Hear this, oh, that it may minister grace. What is grace? The ability for you to do what you cannot do before. What is grace? A super ability that enables you to do what you cannot do. That means there is a kind of word you can speak to somebody and the person will feel encouraged and empowered to do what you could not do before. Are you hearing that all? Now man, you be man. Because you're the poor baller for everywhere, you call yourself man. You're not the poor baller, I make you man. Show man, make we see. See children when you born. Carry the go better school, better school. Now your mates, they be left your your mates. Carry the good there. Carry the good there. You don't finish see your life. That man, even the Luthi he was trying, would not want to try again. Why? Your word did not minister grace. Your word ministered condemnation. There are two things the worst of a man can minister. He says that minister grace, ability to do, and empowerment to do, and ability to, and, and inner energy to achieve, or it will minister destruction, discouragement, frustration. Are you following at all? You don't dare for how many months they learn work, you know, sabi anything. See you, the school you know if you go, learn you know if you do. Your life don't finish. That is not the worst from a life of a believer. He does not have grace. You know one of the things that made Judas kill himself?
because even when he betrayed Jesus, Jesus called him friend. Jesus had rebuked him, you will betray me. He went to betray him. As he came back, Jesus said, friend, betray down me with a kiss. Friend, how can I call my enemy friend? Words of grace. So every time Judas talked about that, he said, no, no. Even when he knew I betrayed him, he still called me friend. If you know who backstabbed you, what will you do? Some people have become your enemy for life just because they told a lie against you. If I tell you what the pastor did to me in this town, the pastor said, I told him. He was spreading his own evangelist. Mike told me. Somebody that we, we were in school together, he was in my room. I was paying hostel uh, money. I was taking care of him. After we left school, we became friends. I stayed in his house for some time. His father's house will not be house. When I started, he went to tell people that. Somebody had already shared to that I am called into pure evangelical. I told him what I'm meant to do. He said, wait, forget to my wife want to gather people, gather people's members and go and start church. And what he said, they believed it. That was a friend that is a backstabber. See, today we still talk and greet very well. You know what he told me one day? He said, Mike, you are the righteous one. I'm the sinful one. Because I did you a bad thing, and yet you can still relate like this. Why? Because this word, people will offend you. Will you change your destiny with God because of people? Make a choice. Your words, no matter how terrible your husband is, if you feel like cursing him, give him all the cost. Should I tell you what to do? Go to the bedroom, pour water in your mouth, and be drinking this much more. Before you will finish, you will forget what you want to say. Your children are making you mad. You want to, you know what to do? Leave the house and be jogging. You decrease. You decrease. Foolish. Stupid. Idiot. Bastard. Mumu. Nobody's hearing you. Just make sure you don't tell anybody that. Because when you tell somebody that, then you have ministered to somebody. In this life, you either minister grace or you minister condemnation. I constantly said it. At the peak of your anger, shut up. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? When all hell is broken loose on you and you feel like giving them your strength, shut up! Let me tell you something. When you are quiet, you are very strong. Many a times, your quietness brings out strength. You are not more strong when you are power, when you are quarrelsome. You are not more strong when you go physical. You are stronger when you keep quiet. Because they cannot ascertain the level of your strength. Even the foolish person, when he keeps quiet, they say he is wise. <laughs> Do you know why Jesus kept quiet when they betrayed him? He kept quiet. When Pilate spoke, he kept quiet. Why? Because if he had opened his mouth, there would be a destruction fire that would come. So he kept quiet and said nothing. When Pilate said, oh, I, I have the power to kill you. He said, if my father does not give it to you, you can have it. Pam. Pilate washed his hands off. Why? Because the man was not talking. If the man was talking, Pilate would have knew where he's coming from. He would have known the level of his power. People have sized you and rated you because you talk too much. Keep quiet and they will be scared of you. Are you hearing me at all? And many a time the Bible said, be still and know that I am God. Why? In your quietness, God will step up. But in your talking, God will withdraw. Once you have taken the battle to your mouth and your hand, God steps out. But once you keep quiet, God activates. Are you following me at all? Somebody says, wisdom to keep quiet. Say, it's wisdom to keep quiet. Say, it's wisdom to choose words. Mary, mercy, you look so fine today. This is your hair, I like it. Eh? Say it's wisdom to choose words. Say it's wisdom to choose words. Say it is wisdom. Ah, you are not talking about the verse. Say it is wisdom. Not to say things the way I like to say it. Can you talk to this? Can I say it is wisdom? Not to allow my mouth to be pouring things. As 
you are going to the branch market, buy a padlock. I mean, that's a show you here. Buy a padlock. It doesn't mean that you talk. Oh, I'm just, I just call your name. I just like your face. When somebody is talking, talking, carry the padlock, man. So why you do that? Like I say I don't lock my mouth. You know who hear me? The lie. You be quiet. This is the my wife was talking. Okay. Look at the way you are looking. Eh? You don't finish yourself now. Nah. You don't call carry your body. Call your paka. Eh? She raised my leg. The lady does her. He said like she felt like talking, and I felt like sleeping. And the sleeper was sleeping. It was tiredly, and but my body was paining me. I was looking for who can massage me, but uh, people that can massage me fear not let me talk. So, so, so if you carry the leg now, nah, never feel too past one leg. She said she slipped on top of the leg. So my wife was okay. Look at the way now. Nah. You are finished. I said, sorry. You don't used to listen to me. Sorry. Even when we are on the stage, we are talking, I'll be talking. You keep quiet. Sorry. It's only sorry you are saying. Sorry. He said, this is your sorry. He said, we have to tell him to shut up. Oh, sorry. He said, ah, but you sleep, sleep. <laughs> you know what? If I try to defend myself, oh Allah. So that's how I say sorry. Sorry. The sorry now, he caught I am. Tell somebody, stop this nonsense. Choose your words. Can I tell you something? Any word you know they give to you, you will not like it. Don't allow it to come out from your mouth. You know what? You can say, I am sorry for what you have said, but you can never take it back. There is no duster for words. Once they have gone, they've gone. You can be sorry, but you cannot withdraw it. So let it come out scarcely. It is what? Wisdom. Are you ready for the next one? Thirty says, grip not the, and grip not the spirit of God, whereby ye are seated unto the day of redemption. Let up bitterness. Are you ready to do 31? 31. 31! Give us on the screen. You are no longer there with the computer. Let up bitterness. Somebody read it loud. I think I'll just stop here. I was, let's, let's see. I took a, I, are you enjoying it? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I don't want to be rushing it and bombard you and then you start forgetting. I'll stop here. Next Saturday, I've said you, is the first day of... Uh, um, no, in December, come with every member of your family, tell our members that are not here now, they should come fasting that Saturday morning, amen? Amen. 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 And there will be hand laying. It's going to be a time anything that you desire for God to do before the end of December as I'm touching you one by one it will be dropping on your life that day. A lot of people will leave here drunk. The power of God will be heavy in this hall. Are you following me at all? That is how sicknesses and all kinds of things. You bring people that cannot walk here, the Lord will raise them up. Are you following me? Yes. But I'm still going to continue on this teaching. I will run this teaching for like 30 minutes and then we'll switch. We'll switch. Are you following me at all? So, come early because I'll start preaching in time. Next Saturday by 7.30. Let 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you. Moses, you didn't hear that? Let all bitterness Quarry, who quarry? Sabi quarry now. You, the quarry. What are you? What are you? So this quarry. Okay, 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 okay. From today, go. Mm. Day your lane. I did my lane. Face that side. Father, thank you. I love you, Jesus. We pray, y'all. We are both Christian. Thank you, Jesus. They will see you in the morning. Good morning. You will do the malice past myself. I they greet you, not they will the answer. What did this woman do me? Come, come, come. Say, what do you have, brother? The way you are doing your face. Somebody just offended me. Huh? It's long ago, but me. Anytime I see the person, go bless the knife. They shook me for bell. God no forgive him. What did he do me? What did he do me? Ask the keeper. Suppose he give me for me that pass. He for me that pass. Christian, no? Christian sister. Hey! For this life. For this life. As long as I did, God will punish her. All bitterness. 
what is the meaning of that? When you see them, you are bitter. If you were enjoying your talk as they come, people, if you are drinking Fanta, as long as the person is there, the bitter, Fanta be like bitter cola. And rot, anger. For some people that want the angry, they are going to be the same. Sister, you were? Yes. Find the shake at the verse. At the verse. Can I tell you, go for deliverance. Now, spirit, they worry you so. Why you hide the red like this? Nothing. You drink at the verse. What do you make it? They beat you. The word, when you come for a mouth. That's why the verse. Now, so I just be. No worry, I will call that later. Yeah, I face this verse now. I'll cool down. I'll cool down. That's all. That's all I be. Then they feel the change down. When I reverse, I reverse like this. You are not normal. You are possessed. <laughs> Rot and anger. And clamor. Quarrel. And evil speaking. Because you are person you are bitter with that person. Anybody that cares to know you will narrate up or down. I hear personal. I'm not buying for a story again. You know, it's a life. I hear, yeah. Now, me carry on. Now, me save on 10 years ago when he won't die for a bush. You know, see, as I feed the family, the rich, wait till they talk. Everything you ever did, everything the person ever told you, you begin to come up and down. You begin to come down. That one, when they owe, owe up and down. See, ya. they call yourself Christian. Forget, forget. If the me be a committed evangelist, you know where, you know where God is. That one, be in a juju day house. You know, they sleep for night, too. Go see, ya. Spiritual husband. You get a rich five. I make an end of marry. I don't marry tire for that side. You don't get anyone for you. I should just be so. Not in day pocket. Now, yeah, yeah, it be. Evil speaking, they put away from you with all malice. If as you sit down here today, there is somebody you cannot greet freely, you are on your way to hell. And destiny has changed for you. If as you sit down here today, there is somebody that offended you so much that you have stopped talking terms, there is something wrong with you. Can I tell you something? You can never drink poison for another man to die. Your anger is a poison. Your malice is a poison. Your bitterness is a poison. As long as it remains in you, you are poisoning yourself, spiritually and physically. You don't expect your neighbor to die because of you. Now you chop him, now you go die. Forgive me my trespasses as I forgive those who trespass against me. So God's forgiving you is conditional on how many you are forgiving. I have said this severally. The Bible says, How many times should my neighbor offend me and I keep forgiving? Jesus says, 70 times 70 which means 490 times how can one person offend you 490 times it is almost an impossibility are you following me at all are you See what you should do. No, because if I offend you without knowing, I can't come and say sorry. But if I if I see you, if I see a kind of behavior, what is wrong with you? And I'm the one who says, sir, you offended me the other day. Right there. Sorry, now take it easy. Why are you like that? But if I ever choose that, I beg get out. Is that why you're like that? I forgive you. I forgive you even before I told you. It is for your good. The offender must not accept that you're offended. Especially if the devil wants to rob you of your next blessing. He will make sure that the people that ever offend you did not agree. Why will you lock yourself in prison and allow others that are your perceived enemies to be moving around? Because you refuse to forgive them. Like I said, a man came, raped a girl. Take this story home. 
rape the mother rape the sister are you following me are you following me and through that rape the mother died the sister got pregnant and never got married the young girl the girl herself she's HIV positive obviously the guy had HIV are you following me now the girl gave her life to Christ out of the frustration her womb she got pregnant when they were trying to deliver the baby no she wanted to abort it because it's a thief's pregnancy her womb was ruptured no marriage she has a HIV she not married there is no womb then she came to church one day and met that the boy that raped her is the usher leader in church same church has God forgiven the boy yes is he on his way to heaven yes what should I do forgive him Oh yes, what? You will go to hell. The boy will go to heaven. Somebody say, Pakam. Somebody say, Now wow. Jessica, now wow. It's big wow. But if you ever want to be happy, if you ever want to have a good life, if you would think you can get healed, you have to let that person go. Else, you have stagnated your own life because of somebody who is already going free. So <laughs> I say, hey, what you did to God was worst. And he shed his blood to forgive you. Have you shed your blood to forgive somebody? My husband went out fornicated Apart from bringing extramarital relation uh, children, he also brought HIV. The child has come. HIV has come. What should I do? My husband did not even beg himself. Forgive him. He's still beating me on top. Forgive him. Why? If you don't forgive him, it's your own life. You are not forgiving them because of them. You are forgiving them because of you. Get it! Jesus needed us. He needed the whole world. He forgave us. If you need your destiny, forgive your offenders. Now wisdom. Now wisdom. Not be forced. Now advice. Wisdom. If you make this heaven, forgive. If you want to prosper, forgive. Bitterness make people get old in time. I don't know what doctor said. I forgot to. I forgot the numbers. That the, the nerves that it takes you to smile. How many? About six or ten. That it takes. It costs you almost about one hundred and something nerves to frown. So it's easier to smile than to frown. If you want frown, you want to cover your face, cover your face, cover your face. We call it frown. We call it develop wrinkle. You are taking drugs. Malaria is not solving. Upon all your drugs, there's something inside of you that is eating the, that, that is causing sickness. Sickness feeds on bitterness. Happiness is a cure to many diseases. <laughs> Somebody say good word. Happiness is a cure. Try to be happy. My husband has abandoned me. Make yourself happy. I normally I will stop here. I will stop here. I'm going to stop here. We will continue on. Are you are you being blessed? Yes, My wife has left me alone. Make yourself happy. I used to tell people you don't have. I was rocking in the parlor. I rock, 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 rock. I did try many dance. I got to do that. Em, on I am in best I danced. I was feeling good, man. Moses, I enjoyed myself. When I finish, now I go back, Freddy, go program. Now, so God, they move in here because the Holy Ghost flows in happiness. You have eaten a buy in the morning, ate a buy in the evening. I see why it's a buy in the evening for night. I say, buy Coke, buy Coke, join the bar. <laughs> buy Coke, join the bar. All music for this bar. This bar. Ooh, give me the. You say that bar. You invest for the bar. I they happy for the bar. You will be surprised that tomorrow God will supply unusual money. 
The Bible says in Isaiah 12, 3, with, with joy shall you draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy. Joy is a bucket. Joy is a rope that enters the well of salvation. Come on. You have not married. No money. Just come and say. <laughs> Face me up. Face me your verse. You never married. Life hard. <laughs> they go disappoint. Me. I am the best. I am married late because I will be the latest when I marry finish. Who first marry and I marry old woman except me? Who first buy car and I buy old model? Who first build house and I build old design? When your own land it will be the latest. You are coming out latest. Don't let anybody give you sadness. Jesus said, peace I give unto you. Now, the, the, one of the fruits of the Holy Ghost is joy. Peace and love. Be happy for yourself. Love yourself. And be peaceful for yourself. Nobody can take that away. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Let all bitterness and wrath. Tell the next person that makes you angry. Come, you know if you make me fair. You know rich. Say, say you know rich. Hey, three of you. When are they come? Waka, do something to make me verse. Anyhow, you know rich. You're too small. You do your own. <laughs> I love you like that. Make me verse. I they love you. They go. Now you go tire. You can never make me cry. You can never make me tears. You can never make me wish I did not know you. I knew you so that my joy can make you become a different person. Me and you know if you go the battle of life, cut the fight, you'll be devil. Don't let people change your course of life. So people have changed every day about you. You are not living just to offend them. What is wrong with you? You have a whole destiny. You are trying to make somebody, you want to make some pay somebody back so I can feel your pain. What is wrong with you? Pastor, how can you just be living your whole life to offend so you say I won't do one back? Eh? Do you know how many years you want to waste? Supposing you do one, you know this time, you will cut do more. You will cut do more before you know they'll put you for prison. He cut you for four years. And and you cut it with another girl. And you left him, and he did not even say anything. Waka, waka, do it, waka. There is nothing any person have done to you that people have not done worse to others, and they put their life together and moved on. Remember, the only thing in your body facing back is where. As I mean, I was said this yesterday. Enos. The only thing in your body facing back is where? Enos. And why did God put it there? Waste products. Because what is coming out from the anus is not what you should look at. Every other thing is facing forward. Your eyes are here to see ahead. Your ears hear from the future. Your mouth talk to the future. Your nose smell the future. Even your feet is ahead so that you can walk. First, when your leg turn back, they'll say it's deformed. Why did God make you like that? Always think of the things ahead. Never remember the good or the bad of yesterday. Yesterday is a stopper to tomorrow. So don't go back there. Past failures and past successes are what causes the future never to take place. So don't dwell on I am. Even God said it is how he meets you when he comes that will determine where you will go. Your righteousness of yesterday is not counted. Your wickedness of yesterday is not counted. How did he meet you now? That is what prepares the judgment. Are we still talking here? Yeah? yeah? Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be ye kind one to another. Oh my God. Be kind one to another. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God for Christ's sake has done what? Has done what? Forgiven Can you. I hear you? Has done what? Forgiven you. Christ for God, Christ, uh, God for Christ's sake has done what? Forgiven has done what? 
forgiven you. Has done what? Forgiven you. The Bible said in Proverbs 21 17. Proverbs 21 17. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. And he that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. wisdom. Read it again. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? Did you say he that enjoyed pleasure? No. Say that love it. What is me? There are people that, for the sake of a very powerful new designers, they can refuse to give tight. They love pleasure. For the sake of going to a party, they can refuse to come to fellowship. They love pleasure. For the sake of one night immorality, somebody can decide to leave the wife on the bed and go to another room. They love pleasure. For the sake of wine, for the sake of ice cream, and for the sake of uh, 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 suya, that you don't even know if it is virtual, a girl can decide to spread leg on the bed for a man that he has never known. That is pleasure. What is pleasure? Pleasure is excitement. Pleasure is enjoyment. Pleasure is uh, what they call uh, flexing. Are you following me at all? The Bible says, he that loveth to flex, she that loveth to flex, and can, watch me, you can you can despise every other thing you can offend God, you can miss service, you can eat your tithe you can eat your first fruit, you can even disobey God just to enjoy yourself you say that man shall be a poor man, I spoke yesterday about how some people, they eat their future, you don't have money for your business but you have latest clothes are you, are you following me at all, you have all the latest clothes the latest phone is your own, everything is your own, but you don't have money for so many things, you prefer to use your money to make yourself feel good and and then borrow money to, to take care of your children. You are a lover of pleasure. She that loveth pleasure, the Bible says, is dead while she liveth. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. And he that loveth wine and oil, wine and oil. Somebody say wine and oil. Wine and oil. Speak loud. Let me leave you. Say wine and oil. Wine and oil. Say wine and oil. Wine and oil. He that loveth wine and oil. He that loveth wine and oil. Lad, he that loveth wine and oil. He that loveth wine and oil. He that loveth wine and oil. What is the meaning of wine? Pleasure. What is the meaning of oil? Power. Come to the keyboard. Wine speaks of enjoyment. Give wine to he that marry it. Oil speaks of power. So if in life, watch me, you do everything to enjoy and to be powerful, you will not last. If your purpose for working is to eat in enjoyment, or to be powerful. You want to oppress people. You want to command people. Say you'll be a poor man. You shall not be rich. Why? God will never give you that pleasure. God will never give you that power. Because riches gives you man pleasure and power. Riches gives a man oil and, and, and wine. Jesus says, if you are working, if you love oil and wine, you will never be rich. Why? Because that riches will give you. So what should you love? Love to impart people. Love to challenge people. Love to be a part of people's lives. Every human being you meet, leave them better than you met them. Then God will make you rich. You don't understand? When you meet people, try to make them better than you met them. Are you following me at all? Yes, sir. You meet somebody that is frowning, make the person laugh. You meet a poor person, try and lift up the person. I remember a family that came here. They are pastors. The wife is the pastor. They came. They had issues. They said to feed was a problem. They came to the office, elderly guys. I spoke with them, prayed for them, told them what to do, and gave them how many thousand? Less than five thousand. They were already going. I said, I can't give them money. The woman came back, almost near down. Thank you, thank you. The husband came back. Oh, God, thank you. I felt pain. How can these elderly people be thanking me for how much? That tells you that they really... I said, I thought you have children. Some are already graduates. No work. Some are in school. Can't you see? Now, they were so happy be just because of how much. Somebody came out away from just yesterday. He was stranded. He wants to go to Gombe. A pastor. He was in the service. He listened. After he finished, he knelt down. He says, sir, let me kneel down. He knelt down. Please, sir. I am this. I said, stand up. Don't need that for me. He said, no, 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 no. He was quoting Bible. So he's opening there. I said, please stand up. Please stand. I did like, stand, 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 stand. He stood. He said, sorry. Because I said, you're embarrassing me. 
Please look at what is the problem. Look at, look at. He had a church of 700 members in Joss. They fought. The riot burned down the church and the church scattered. He started again after about a year or two years. He had 200 members. He invited one prophet. Prophet did magic. Church scatter. See, now he has no church again. He has gone. He has just left for Ghana from Bible school. He's looking everywhere. He came here. He saw this symbol. He came on Friday. He told him about the He came. for the service? He, just, he was showing me handbills, showing me handbills, showing me things to prove that it's not fake. See, I just need transport to Gumbi. He said he was confused. A man of God had told him to leave that side and come to Abuja, or come to Wari, or come to Benin. But while I was in ministry yesterday, you remember God said the word, that place you have filled before, go back there and you'll be a success. He said, sir, that was a direct word to me. He said, you spoke to me. He said, because I've been feeling that God wants me to go back to the north. That my ministry is in the north. He said, but I won't call the man of God, a very big man of God, and I said, leave, go to Abuja, go to Wari, go to Patakot. He said, go and succeed there. He said, but God has been telling me to go back to the north. And I was ministry, I said, that place that you have failed, the Lord said, go back there. He said, and you see, the thing hits me as in God is talking to me. He said, sir, God is in this place, really. He said, I, I have been going to a... He was calling big ministers in town. He said, I have not sensed God like this anywhere. He knelt down. I said, how much is your transport? Calculated. Say, from here to just is 5,000. From just to go there is 2, 5. I said, give me your account. He said, yes, sir. I said, give me your account. I put enough in his account that I can take him there and I can still hold it for some time. He said, sir, thank you. I said, go, 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 go. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. He said, I'm going to bring you to Gombe. You will come to Gombe. This is my first meeting with you. I said, go. Every person you lead, meet, try and make the person better. Somebody say Wisdom. Stand up. Are you enjoying this series? Are you sure? Make sure all cell pastors, make sure this week mobilize all your cell groups. I don't want people missing service. I know there's a lot of festivities, festivity, but thank God that we are growing. Nobody missing service. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. You are going to pray for yourself. Whichever area you know that you have not been wise, handle it now. Come on. Whichever area you know you have not been wise. The enemy has been cheating you. Are you, are you praying? <laughs> Which kind of version are the verse? Give me a bottle of oil. Give me a bowl to pour this in. Jesus. Jesus. You are Lord. Let's have the keyboard. You are Lord. Jesus. 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 I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. Man I can't hear you, ladies and gentlemen, brethren. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,
generous in God's presence it is wisdom because there is no other way to get in unless through the channel of giving give us our wives non give us our big fools give us our wives non give us their fools it is wisdom to be a giver right now I want you to take all that you can give to God tonight there is no offering there is no seed just take a love gift and let's give to the Lord quickly if you have divided into two before take all once let's give him Lift it up. Say this after me. Because I love you. Because I love you. And choose to be a child of wisdom. And choose to be a child of wisdom. I practice today. I practice today. The wisdom of giving. The wisdom of giving. Let this wisdom. Let this wisdom. Bring me out of suffering. Bring me out of suffering. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Amen. 